it. I noticed that it was acting funny when I turned the dial. It really wasn't a smooth transition. So what you want to do is you want to pull off this knob. It's like a radio. If I can get it off here. And then you can see there are two holes. I'll zoom in on it. One here and one here. So you just take your WD-40 or just oil, you know, that you can put a drop on and you just put a little squirt in there. Just a half second squirt as quick as you can. Squirt, squirt. And then you just turn the dial. Just turn it. You're working that lubricant in there on the rheostat and then you just let it sit for a little while and then you can uh, plug it in and test it just work it back and forth and it'll eventually smooth out as, as you clean off the rheostat the contacts on the rheostat so that's uh, about the only maintenance on this thing uh, and you can do that without uh, taking it apart like I did Okay, so after taking this thing apart, I came to realize that it's the set screw for this thing. Uh, this holds, uh, this is the attachment between the motor and the container. And then the next thing I noticed was uh, they have the access hole sealed off. So I'm going to have to remove that seal to get in there and tighten it down. Uh, everything else in here is pretty much uh, non-serviceable items. There are some brushes on the motor, I guess, could replace the brushes if they ever wore out. Uh, this circuit board, I guess a resistor or something could fail on that. Uh, you'd definitely see that burnt. It'd be a big brown spot where it burned. Uh, there's a wire attachment that clicks onto here. I'm not going to remove it because I've already put it in place. Uh, there's all your switches. Uh, anyway, uh, so sorry about that. Didn't get to show you any uh, big hunt for the screw because I didn't have to take it apart to begin with. So we'll just reassemble it. I'll remove this little dobble of silicone or whatever. Put this back on, line up the hole to the set screw, tighten it up with my Allen, and uh, go on with life. So I just took my Allen wrench, popped off the goop here, and I'll put this back on. Let me make sure it's unscrewed. Put it back on, line it up, tighten it down. I've got my handy little flashlight, took a peek down there, made sure I was tightening up the screw. And I'll just make sure that I get it good and tight here. There we go, it doesn't come off. And this will go back on over top of it like that. In case you didn't notice, I need to put the four screws back on. So, we're good. My only other piece of advice is to start all four screws. That way you know they're all lined up and that you can finish tightening them up without one of them being misaligned and giving you a bunch of heartache. cover back on and test it. Alright, now for the test.
right, let's run it through its paces. On slow, you can see that that's spinning, hopefully. I know it looks solid, probably. We'll just wind it up. Back down. All right, it's back together.